Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we've got part 17 of our What's in the Box series, but before we get into the box, I'm just going to go through a few things that I've actually received in the post in the last week or so. Um, now you probably saw these badges, a lot of bungle. Um, I think that was about a couple of weeks back, uh, but as well as that, I've got these from uh, Coins to Collect. From Trev. I'm not sure if he's still got any of these badges left. Uh, but dead cool. Uh, very well presented, Trevor. And I got a, a letter from Northern Coins. You now, if you remember, he actually won my uh, recent mini giveaway. So I got a letter. Uh, came in quite a big parcel, so I have actually opened it. Uh, to Macamel Coins, I'd like to take this. Uh, time to thank you for the go win, that giveaway win, and the coins. And to show my thanks, I've enclosed my channel sticker logo. I do hope you like it. Please keep up the great uploads. I think you've had too many sherries there, Northern. <laughs> I don't think my uploads are that great. Um, anyway, uh, your friend Northern Coins, and this is P.S. Um, if crowds are allowed into sporting events, I may be in Newcastle end of May for the Rugby League Magic Weekend. Uh, unfortunately, rugby league isn't something that I'm interested in, but never mind. So that's the big sticker that he sent. You can see the size of my hand. Um, there was a, a smaller one as well, which was attached to the envelope. So I've, I've, got, a, I've got a little notebook and I've actually put a few uh, stickers on. This is the Doctor Who one, which I nabbed off my daughter. So I've got the uh, the Bungle uh, Collects Coins on the YouTube sticker and... I've put the Northern Coins one on the bottom. But uh, thanks very much for that, Northern Coins. I do appreciate that, and I'll, I will look after it. Uh, now, a little purchase I've made, and something that a lot of people seem to be having a trouble pronouncing, but this is the Temnodontosaurus, part of the Mary Anning collection, the uh, next run of the dinosaur coins. I think the Plesiosaurus one might be might be out when this goes up and I have actually pre-ordered that and then we've got the uh, Dimorphodon a bit later on in the year so I haven't actually opened this yet so let's uh, have a look inside I'm not going to do any sort of uh, presentation on this well it definitely looks like uh, a dolphin doing a flipper I think uh, I mentioned that a good few weeks back, and I think uh, Kali picked up on that and called it uh, Flipper's Anglia Cousin. So, yeah, uh, you can actually read that at your leisure. I mean, if you thought Temnodontosaurus was hard to say, <laughs> uh, that's uh, Ichthyosaur. That's how it's pronounced Ichthyosaur. The the obverse. But if you want to read that at your leisure, you can do. We've got the specifications on the back of the card, and I'll put that back in its little folder in just a moment. But today, <clears throat> um, let's move these out of the way. Now today. I'm going to show you uh, the last bunk coin set that I do have in my collection. Um, going back a good few years, almost almost 30 years, 28 years, to 1983. And we've got the Heinz Royal Mint Uncirculated Coin Collection. Now, there was actually four types of these 1983 collections that were issued. Um, now I, th I don't know whether you had to uh, get big bean wrappers off and send them off to get them. I don't know. Um, I know Bungle has got, I think he's got one of these sets. But there was actually four types of sets you could get for 1983. Now as well as the, the Heinz one, there was actually one by Benson and Hedges. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll uh, I put a little photograph on. This is the Benton and Hedges set. P. 
pieces of it. Then we had this one by Martini Rosso. And then finally we had the, the actual Royal Mint pack itself. Now, I want you to spot the difference between what I'm about to show you and those photographs that you've just seen. See how quick you are. So let's get uh, open this up first. There's a little bit about the Royal Mint, so if you want to read that. This, uh, like I say, this presentation wallet, as it says at the bottom, uh, was uh, exclusively made for Heinz Company by the Royal Mint. Now, get on to the reverse in a second. Just want to show the the obverse. Now, all the uh, obverse is by Arnold Machen, second portrait of the Queen. In the back we've got a little bit of history of the Royal Mint. So it goes back well over a thousand years. And then on the back we've got some uh, coin specs. And you can read that if you wish. Right, so has anybody spotted the area yet? The difference between the pictures I showed you and these. If you haven't already picked up on it, it's the one pound coin is missing from this set. Um, now, I did actually purchase on eBay and the uh, the packaging, I think it's probably seen a little bit better days. Um, so the yeah, the one pound coins missing where it was actually included in the other three sets, which uh, seems a bit odd. However, tonight, as I record this, um, I do have a set on on watch on eBay, um, and I will put a little thing up in the top there to see whether I was successful or not because what I'm planning on doing is if if I don't manage to get this other set I'm going to rip this one up and put it into where date runs um, so anyway we'll start off with the, the half pence so this one has the uh, the crown of St Edward on it Made of bronze and the weight is 1.78 grams, diameter of 17.14 millimeters, and a mintage of only 7,600,000. Now, in the brilliant uncirculated sets like this, um, there was actually a 637,100. You could get it in proof of 107,800 of those were minted. Now, um, this half pence was actually demonetized on the 31st of December 1984. And as strange as it may seem, I don't actually have this one in my date run. So, uh, if I do manage to get that other set that I'm uh, hoping to get off eBay. I'm going to rip this little one out and put it in the date run. Uh, the next one is the penny. We've seen this many times. Uh, the the crown port colours and chains. Uh, part of like the Henry the Seventh badge. 
known for the um, Palace of Westminster. Now this one went into circulation and there was 243 million and 2,000. The weight for that one is 3.56 grams and the diameter is 20.3 millimetres. Right, the the two bents one. Now this one did not go into circulation, but this uh, has the badge of Prince of Wales on it. The weight for this one is seven point one two grams, and the diameter is twenty five point nine millimeters. That's also made of bronze, as was the penny, which I forgot to say. Now the two bents in nineteen eighty two. Um, so that was like 11 years after the decimalisation day on the 15th of February 1971 the word new was actually removed from the reverse so it now only reads two pence however in uh, 1983 which is this set there were some in both the Heinz sets and the Martini sets that had the incorrect reverse die of new pence so unfortunately this one just says two pence if it had new pence it, it would be quite rare now um, the report suggests that the errors on the mules were actually contained in some brilliant in circulated sets by the royal mint for them like i said the heinz and the martini um now the next one is the five pence so this is the the Crown Thistle, Badge of Scotland. There's Cooper and Nickel, 5.65 grams and 23.6 millimetres in diameter. Now, uh, there was no five pences issued for circulation between 1981 and 1986, as the pre-decimal shillings were still uh, legal tender at that time. But these were demonetised on the 31st of December 1990 along with the shillings when the uh, the smaller five pence was introduced. Up the top we still have the, uh, the larger style ten pence and this one has the crest of England. Cooper and Niggle, 11.31 grams in weight and 28.5 millimetres in diameter. Now between 1982 and 1991 there was no 10 pences issued in uh, circulation because the florins, the old two shilling pieces, they were still in existence as well. And uh, this 10 pence was actually demonetised on the 30th of June 1993. The smaller ten pence was actually uh, introduced in 1992, so they did run alongside each other for a little while. Now, up to now, all the designs on the reverses has been done by Christopher Ironside, but this one's a little bit different. Uh, this is by William Mervyn Gardner, and it has the the crowned Tudor rose. Again, Cooper and Nickel, 5 grams in weight and 21.4 millimetres in diameter. Now, this one was circulated and there was uh, 158,463,000 of those. And finally, in this set that I've got, there's the big old chunky 50 pence. This one, there's obviously got the uh, Britannia with the lion and then just got a the trident, a shield and an olive branch in her left hand. This one was 13.5 grams in weight and 30 millimetres in diameter. Again it was uh, circulated and there was 62,824,904. But this again was demonetised 28th of February 1998. So again, it ran, ran alongside the uh, the small 50p's that were introduced in 97. 
the uh, the one pound coin which isn't actually shown on here um, was uh, in circulation I did if you remember me what's in the box when I did the uh, the round pounds if you remember the that I, I did actually mention it was uh, it was demonetized on the 15th of October 2017 the old round pounds and uh, the one pound had a, a mintage of 443,053,510. Uh, and the designer was Eric Sewell, um, which whose design was actually on the 1993, 98, 2003 and the 2008 reverses as well. Now, strangely, the... The bunks for that included the one pound coins was only four hundred and eighty four thousand nine hundred, so that would indicate there's about what one hundred and fifty three thousand ish of uh, of these. Don't know. So it is possible uh, that's what the, the difference is because as I said this one doesn't have the one pound coin in it. So anyway that's uh, the end of today's video. Um, let us know have you got this, have you got it in proof, have you got another version of 1983 set. So until the next one enjoy yourselves, keep on hunting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.